here have already spoken very passionately about tonight. But we also have to realize that there are reasons many states are shutting down these fish farms. We are doing aquaculture wrong. We are doing monoculture fish farms that tend to pollute the environment around them, are susceptible to disease, pests, and generally lowering the water quality. So I am here tonight to suggest a third option, one that Kampachi Farms has actually already done in other sites. It is to take a page out of the agroecology textbook and to grow other organisms alongside the Almaco Jack. This could include macroalgae, fisher feeders, and do sustainable ecosystem-based farming. We already know there's a big drive for seafood in America, that we already import so much of it. But imagine if we took these warm, salty, shallow waters that already grow a lot of harmful algaes, and instead we grew algaes that we could eat. Imagine if at the same time we were doing these aquaculture projects and making money and driving our economy, we were improving the water quality. So I suggest that Kampachi Farms go back to some of their previous projects in Hawaii where they've actually grown macroalgae, where they've actually done some of these mixed agroecology practices. We like permaculture projects on land. They're good for the environment. You get a wider diversity of food. There's less fertilizer runoff. So why can't we do that here in Sarasota? If we just block every new project that comes our way, we'll never get anywhere. But if this, this is the first new project in Gulf of Mexico, let's try out a wide variety of methods Let's try out and see if we can actually improve the water quality at the same time we do aquaculture. Mm -hmm. I guess I'll <laughs>